When I installed Active Directory, one of the options in that wizard was where did we want the database to be stored, where did we want the log files, and the sysfall share to be stored. I left those in the default location. So we can actually go look at those and see exactly what they are. I'm going to just open File Explorer, and I'm going to click on this PC and open the C drive. And on my C drive, I'm going to open this Windows folder. Down this list, you will see this NTDS folder. So that's actually the default path. C Windows NTDS. This is the NTDS.dit file. That is the Active Directory database. In that file lives all your user accounts, your computer accounts, uh, your groups. What you can see, this file is what, 18 megabytes in size right now. So a very small file. Normally it's you know, right around 20 megs because the objects are pretty small. Creating a new user or creating 100 users, it's not a lot of data it actually stores. So relative to other databases, this is very small. But that is the database file itself. Now, the other files here are really no concern for us. They're just database files. There's a temp database file. Uh, there are a couple of those. These, um, this temp EDB and this EDB temp. They have these reserve logs here. I mean, we don't do anything with those. But the JRS, what these would do, somehow if the hard drive on your server became full and it could no longer create Active Directory logs, it would start writing to these. These are both empty 10 megabyte files, just so 20 megs total, 20 megs of reserve space just for logging if the hard drive were to become full. So they're not anything we would manage or work with or anything like that, just to look at um, where they are. If we scroll down a bit, the sysfall folder is also in this list. If I open the sysfall folder, there is another folder named sysfall that shows up. That's my domain. All the policies we create in group policy, if I have scripts associated with Active Directory, they would get added to this scripts folder here. So this is where your clients would connect, like your client computers, whatever they need to process, policy, scripts, any of those settings. So those were the questions that we were asked, where do we want to store the database file, which is in that NTDS folder, the log files, that's also in the NTDS, and then this sysfall share that actually shows up here. And that's the path to sysfall by default, just see Windows sysfall. We will work with sysvol a bit more when we start working with group policy objects.